2 meter 40 by 90, 2 meter 40 by 90, 240 by 90, 240 by 90, write it down, 240 by 90, 240 by 90, don't forget. Oh, hi, welcome in the now so say a double workshop. Uh, yeah, I just measured a door opening in which my lovely wife wants to have a sliding door. It's going to be 2 meter 40 high, 90 centimeters wide. Sliding. So, and of course, as always, it has to be done on the almost zero budget. So, I'm going to use a lot of this wood that's laying around and try to make a door out of it. The only thing I have is five of these skip found little windows which aren't rotten. I mean the lacquer is off but when they send it down it's okay. I just got a way to figure out to get this water thing off and maybe fill the gaps where the hinges were or just maybe cut a little piece off. So just got to come up with an idea to integrate five of these little windows into a door that's 2 meter 40. Now they are 39.2 by, oh wait a minute, 39.7. So that's a strange size. So I guess I have to cut them to 39 by 39 and at least I know they are square so I'm going to write that down 39 by 39 well I have to go up with an idea 240 by 90 3.4 cent of a mill, so 3.3, 33 millimeters thick. So the whole door is going to be 33 millimeters thick because I have to do, well, I have to go with what I have. So good. That means a lot of sawing. Well, let's start. Now I do have some leftover floorboards, but of course they are tongue and groove. And I'm going to use the side of them. So I'm going to cut that off first and then see whether we, what we can get out of this. And for that, open the door.
So, after sawing all this stuff, um, I do have the, the 51 centimeters in total that I need, but I still need the bottom and the top, which is a few meters on, in the same sizes, and the little blocks between the windows. But I have to find myself a bit more wood because I do have short pieces but long lengths is a problem now to get them 2.2 centimeters by 3.3 centimeters so uh, just gonna look for it. Now I'm gonna try to glue this up and I'm using the back fence of my miter saw and the table because I know this is like straight so and I don't have another long enough room to do it so I'm gonna try to glue this together now the glue I use is not what's in here well what it says is in here it's just normal white wood glue that came from England in like a 5 liter canister which probably cost half of what 1 liter will cost in Portugal so very happy my friends gave me that so let's try This isn't really the best way to do it, but it's the only spot I have where I can leave such a big length. And to be honest, it's only for now because when I've done the first few, then I've got another solution to put the other ones against it. So, so now that the first one is glued together. I could use that as a well as a measure and I laid out the whole door on its flat side and marked out where I've got to drill all these little holes. It's a lot of work but I think this is the best system I can come up with with all these little pieces of wood so a lot of holes to drill. <laughs> Thank you. 
in it so I guess they can handle the door but now I have to make two brackets and well let's see if we can find something between all the other saved stuff and skip found stuff we found <laughs> you know he's nailing in screws, they're not. They look like screws but they're nails so you can hammer them in but you can still take them out with a screwdriver. Very handy. And of course I'm saving the sawdust as I always do and I've got the, a lot of different colors now this is a mix of all this wood that's here so it's going to be nice to fill gaps with Sanding and scraping and planing all day. And uh, this small it still isn't perfect, but then again, it's got to be a rustic door, so I think that's okay as long as it's. This part is on. There are washers in here and the bolts are in, the nuts, I mean. So, still got to do that end, but I wanted to. Send it on this side so I can flip it over and do that side. Yeah, almost there. Well, I just realized that we're over 15 minutes in this video. So, uh, and there's still so much to do. A lot of sanding, the other side of the door, uh, gotta stain it, lacquer it, 
uh, put the wheels on, hang it in the door opening. So we're not going to make it in this video. So you will see that next week. Uh, for now, do some woodworking yourself. It's a nice way to spend your time. And see you all next week. Weather. I gotta wait the next week.